Hello, this is our tutorial on how to use our PCG graphs in Unreal Engine 5. So before we start, we need to check some settings inside the graphs. Firstly, go to PCG folder and open the Spawn Ruins graph, then navigate to the Market node. Now check these settings for some reason, it can automatically disable itself, so we need to re-enable it again. Then go to Spawn Debris and repeat the same process. Now we can go to the level named Test, drag and drop Spawn Ruins PCG onto the landscape. Um, but before we make any changes, uh, we need to check some settings again. So firstly, press the Clean Up button to make it easier for us to work. Then go to PCG Properties and change these options. In the future, you should do this with all PCG graphs you place in a level. Now we can adjust the size of the volume and move it. So when you're done, just click Generate. Often you can see some intersections on the meshes. To fix that, just move the volume and a couple of pixels in any direction and click Generate again. There are some buildings which are lower than the actual landscape. We will work with that later. So let's create a rod using a spline. Add a spline component to the spawn ruins volume and adjust it however you want. Click generate again. Looks beautiful, now you can drag and drop spawn sand to the level, don't forget to change PCG properties. Then move and scale the volume so it covers the entire ruins area. Now we can generate it. It's time to fix some places where actors are below the landscape. So firstly, select the Spawn Ruins volume and duplicate it. Then in a details menu, we need to replace Spawn Ruins with the Spawn Holes graph. Make sure the seed value is the same and click Generate. You can see this window when trying to generate this PCG, click Accept. Now you can see that this graph sculpted the landscape automatically. All we need to do is just adjust some sand meshes. And yes, as you can see, you can easily move, rotate, duplicate, and delete every single asset that was generated. Even the assets inside buildings can be moved if you want them to. And finally, we can generate some debris on the sand. So let's duplicate the sand volume and replace its graph with spawn debris and generate it. Be aware that this graph is hard to compute and can take some time to generate. That looks perfect. You can adjust the debris as well. So that's it for now, and my personal recommendation, just try the entire process by yourself and experiment with everything you can see here. However, keep it in mind that our graphs are just tools that simplify your work. So to achieve good results, you still have to do some things manually. Hope you find this video useful. Wish you luck creating beautiful environments.